with you like this it makes you feel a mite insignificant. Yep. It's almost a shame to have to cut a log and through there, ain't it? Yes, you aren't breaking any records doing it, are they? What's been happening? Away from them smelly cows, he tells me. Hook up a mess of trout every night for supper, he tells me. Why didn't you tell me you were wrestling boulders and four foot stumps? Well, look, I'm just as surprised about it as you are. Oh, he only told you what Pot told me. <laughs> hey, you know, if that, uh, that silver dollar had come up head, you know where I'd be right now? San Francisco, Barbary Coast. Be a lot better off right where you are. The things you're wrestling don't wrestle back, and you don't have to buy them champagne. <laughs> Woo. How you doing, Pa? Uh, things going a bit slow? Yeah, yeah, we hit a lot more more stumps and boulders. Had to do a lot more blasting we figured out. Oh. You got enough warnings posted? Yeah, I think so. That fella didn't see him. We get three or four more up around there, huh? Right away. I'll help you. Hey, uh, Bob? We, uh, we've got an extra shovel here, Bob. If you want to give me a hand. Oh, Joe, that's a mighty good-looking shovel. You should be doing a lot of work with that one. I got things to do up there. Bye, Bob. Who was that? One of your cowboys? I don't know. It's too far away. I couldn't tell. better than to try to rope the caballado. I was just trying. You know what a stubborn woman I am? No, I don't know about that. I just know you're a woman. Got some bad news. They said no, didn't they? They were nice and polite. The bank has its obligations, too, they said. You know that ever since your father died, they wanted to take this ranch over. Well, so they're going to call the loan today. The sheriff's on his way to post the property and take all the animals. There'll be a court auction at Rimville tomorrow.
Oh, at Caballero, we're just having some fun. They have to be sold? All of them? Yes. Don't you worry about the Caballero, honey. See, nobody else knows what he can do. How your father and I trained him. I know where I can get enough money to bid him back. He's, he's devil to rope, impossible to ride. But he can gather us up enough wild horses to have one of the biggest remudas in the territory. The way you say it, I, I almost think it's possible. With the caballero, it is possible. You and me, we can... We can get married, have the ranch, everything. I'll see you in Rimville tomorrow. Jace? What about your uncle? He tries to stop me. I'll kill him. Fellas, appreciate the trouble we go to to harvest this ponderosa pine. <laughs> I don't know. You reckon us cowboys appreciate all the effort it takes to get our pants closed all the way from Boston to San Francisco? That's a good point. Hey, come on. We a powder man. We're waiting. I'll let this thing dug up before you get it blown up. You boys take cover up there. We're going to blow this stump. Give me a shovel full of dirt. Get up. Easy does it. The day tonight. turn pale right off. Hey, Hollis! Get down here with that wagon! Yeah, tie that off. So you can slow up the bleeding before I take that stake out.
Who are you? Ben Cartwright. You're in a logging camp at the edge of the Ponderosa. Now your legs hurt real bad, so lie back, would you? Come on. I've got to get to Rimville before noon tomorrow. Buddy, you might as well make up your mind. You ain't gonna be riding with that leg sometime. There's a horse auction over there tomorrow. There's a black, the only one in the string, and I got to have him. His leg's more important than any horse I know of. Where's my kick? I have money. I'll take it easy. Mr. Carrad, if I don't have any blasting to do for a couple of days, I'd be delighted to go to Rimville and take care of it for him. Rimville's not just over the next hill. It's a long ride overnight. <clears throat> well, you know, Pike, I could go along with Candy. You could keep an eye on him. Oh, he could keep an eye on me, too. First time you've volunteered for anything in over a month. You know what? That's the reason I'm doing it. I, I feel kind of guilty about it. Well, I got plenty to do here. There's $500 in there. $500 for one horse? Was he made of pure gold? I got to have that horse. He's the only black in the string. I got to have him. Don't worry, we'll get him for you. Just take care of that leg. So you got into this mess, but that land was posted for blasting, Mr. Fredericks. How did you know my name? Looked in your wallet. Want to notify your family. I got no family. But thanks for trying. Like we made it just in time. Yeah, here's 30. Mm -hmm. 30. I'll uh, take care of the horse. Here's 30. Well, here's 30. No. Good animal here. You're missing a chance. I got 30. I got 30. Well, here's 35. 35. 35 going once, twice, three times, and sold to the bow legged cowboy for $35. Tommy, let's get that good looking black one in here. Chaser. <laughs> a good animal, <laughs> fine animal for the man that can tame him. I like him as is. Five dollars worth. As is, fifty dollars. There's a man that knows horse flesh and knows what he wants. Fifty dollars, looking for a hundred? A hundred? You got it. Hundred and fifty. Exactly two hundred dollars and no cents. If he's worth 200, he's worth three. I hear three, don't I? You just heard it, 300. You just bought yourself a horse, friend. I've got 300, we'll hear more. 350, 
Going once, twice, three times, and sold for three hundred. Pay the tally and collect your bill of sale. Three hundred. Well, I'll try to get a hold of him. Why anybody wants to buy him, I'll never know. Good luck. Better get a rope on him. Take care of the rope. Let's see, um... Next animal is one you can last soon. <laughs> here you go. Bartender, when does it uh, liven up around here? Mister, this here is Remville. Yeah, they call it Remville because it's right on the edge of nothing. Uh, place I saw coming in at a hotel. Is that the only place to stay? Yeah, across the street there. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, sometimes things liven up about sundown. I can hardly wait. excitement over the hotel. You know, I bet the chambermaid will be 72. As a matter of fact, he is. Four hundred. Hundred dollar profit. I'll take the bill of sale for the black. Uh, that's uh, sure a nice profit, mister, but uh, uh, sorry, I'm not interested. Double your profit. I'm Gabriel Bingham, and I want that horse. I don't um, remember you inviting anybody over here, Joe. Did you invite anyone over here? Hmm? No, I didn't invite anybody. Did you invite somebody? I didn't invite anyone over here. Hello, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bingham. But I can't sell the horse. It's not mine to sell. See, it belongs to a fellow who's in bed hurt. And to hear him talk, that's, that's the greatest animal in the world. So, sorry. Hey, cowboy. Did you know who that was? Oh, yeah, that, that's Gabriel Bingham. He likes black horses. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got a strange feeling our exciting night in Rimville has just come and gone. Joe, give me another look at that bill of sale. Well, that's just a bill of sale. I got me curious. I must have missed something when I looked at that horse. No, I counted four legs and a head. Hey, bartender, what do we owe you for the, uh, the champagne, the president of glass, and the dancing girl? Huh? The bill, please. Oh, oh, uh, uh, two dollars and six bits. Mm -hmm. I'm going back over to the stable and take another look at that horse. All righty. I'll be up in a room figuring out exciting stories to tell Brother Hoss when we get back. You see, that was two and six bits. Yes, sir. Yes, hey, uh, buy a beer for the lady. Hold it right there. Put that horse right back where you found him. You hold it right there, mister. Drop your gun. Go ahead. Get your hands up. And turn around real slow. All right, boys, get the... Close the door. Um, Ma'am, I, I think maybe I have the wrong room. Just come in and close the door. to believe you. I know Chase wouldn't let anybody buy that horse for him. Look, lady, if you would just try telling me half as much as I'm trying to tell you, I think we'd get along fine. I explained it. He had no choice. He gave us $500 to buy a horse. We spent $300, and I've got $200 left over. Now I know you're lying. Chase never had $500 in his whole life. That's a use. Why don't you just admit you work for Bingham? Work? Lady, I wouldn't work for Bingham if... What the heck happened to you? You said he was 70. Yeah, I was wrong again. What happened? Over oh, about 35 very bad men hit me in the head and took that block away from me. Who's your friend? She hasn't said. She's been too busy calling me a liar. Come on, sit down. What are you lying about? I'm not lying. She just thinks I am. She's got an idea we bought that horse for a Bingham. Bingham? Mm -hmm. Well, now, that's going to be very easy to straighten out. You give me a couple of minutes to get cleaned up. The night's young. There's wine and music next door with the ladies. Shut up. She's not very friendly, is she? Mm -mm. Now show her the bill of sale, eh? They got that, too. They got that, yeah, figures. You have any idea where they went? I didn't notice. I was taking a nap. <laughs> but I did get a good look at one of them. It was that uh, ramrod that was bidding against us at the auction, the one with a scar on his face. His name is Rio. He's Bingham's foreman. Oh, Bingham's foreman. So Bingham's foreman steals a horse from us that we paid $300 for. Now, you still think we're working for Bingham, or are you beginning to believe what I've been telling you? I guess I was wrong. Please, take me to see Jace right away. It's very important. I'm sorry to say this, but you're going to have to go without me. I'm going to be busy. Yeah, well, now hold on. You're going where I think you're going. You need help. Lady needs an escort. I'll get that horse. Please, take me to see Chase right now. All right, first thing in the morning. If you'll do me one little favor. What? Put the gun away. <laughs> Where are you going to find 
the sheriff. Uh, it depends. What you want to see him for? Well, I'm going to go try to catch a horse thief. Thought he might want to come along. This uh, stole horse, that wouldn't be the black you and your friend bought at the auction yesterday, would it? Could be. It's too bad. I recollect, Mr. Bingham, over you and your friend won a fair price for that piece of horse flesh. Could be. But uh, that doesn't give him license to send his foreman to steal it. Son, you take my advice. Don't accuse Mr. Bingham of anything you can't prove beyond a shadow. Don't need advice. Just directions. Well, fair enough. No advice. Where's the sheriff? You know something? Your beer's lousy, too. He's half horse and half pure devil. Maybe. I took a few punches getting him, too. But you aren't done yet. I told you to bring in Jace, too. Well, how am I going to do that? I don't know where to look for him. And you call yourself smart. Took me one minute with the hotel clerk to find out it was Joe Cartwright bid in that horse. Cartwright, huh? And Cartwright himself said he bought him for a man who's hurt and in bed. Well, the Cartwright's got that logging camp up near Sawtooth. So start there. But find him real. And bring him in. How do you want him, Mr. Bingham? Dead or alive? Yeah. Dead or alive? <laughs> save the time and trouble of hanging you. For what? For coming after a horse that I bought and paid for? You got to build a sail? Walk. Where? Where I can keep an eye on you until the law gets here. Sure we should go for that gun. Man kills a horse thief. He's doing the world a favor.
sitting in bed, so if he's here, he'll be in the bunkhouse. Your fire, Jace. We'll leave. trying to kill Chase. Yes, dear. That's what I mean by becoming involved. But one of those gunmen was killed. Man out the door here. And one of my men is wounded. Now, I'm going to have to explain that to the law. Before I can, you're going to have to explain it to me. It started six years ago. Pa broke his hip. He was bedridden after that. My uncle, Gabe Bingham, ran the ranch. He was supposed to teach me how to run it. But all I was ever allowed to do was clean the stables and dig post holes. I'm a fair hand with horses. So I took to the high country, chasing the wild ones. I met Kathy. My father and we decided to throw in together and build a horse ranch. We needed money to get started. So I went to Pa. He said chasing wild horses was like chasing the rainbows. Well, a lot of men feel that way. And uh, yeah, these father and I started to train. A black caballero. How did you know? Well, J.C. was a little feverish and he did a bit of talking. Horses that can round up other horses with a lot of money. This is the best one you ever saw. Anyway, to make it short, Pa died. His will said that I didn't get the ranch until I was married, settled down, in a business of my own, making money. That's why I needed the caballero. That's why Bingham stole him. Tell him the rest. If anything happens to me, Bingham gets the ranch. Mm. Jace, you gave Joe $500, huh? What'd 
Don't you get it? Out of the ranch safe. Back wages, Bingham wouldn't give me. You'll say I stole it. It's Chase's money. He earned it. You don't believe me? Well, son, it's not a question of believing or not believing. I think I'd like to go over and talk to Bingham. I'm right over there with boys. Oh, you don't know who's staying right here. You're in no condition to ride anywhere. Kathy, you stay here with him. You stay here till the legs better. Like some... Chase, what are you doing out of bed? Wasted too much time already. I'm all right. Darling, you're, you're just not well enough yet. I'm going, Kathy. I got to be there when Bingham talked to Cartwright. I want my own rein on that caballero. Hand me my gun, please. I need my horse. I'll saddle mine up, too. Kathy. I'm looking for Mr. Bingham, please. Oh, Mr. Cartwright. I've always wanted to meet you. Mr. Bingham, won't you come in? Well, we should have met long before this, Cartwright. Don't know why we didn't. Sit down. Yeah. What do the three Cartwrights prefer with their branch water? I always think men can look at things better through a glass. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bingham. But I suppose your men told you what happened over at our logging camp. No. Oh, I didn't send anybody over there. I don't know what this is all about. Yeah, well, let me explain it to you. You tried to buy a horse from me for $600. I wouldn't sell him. So you sent your man Rio to steal him. Now, you watch who you're calling a thief, boy. I saw you weren't going to sell, so I passed. Rio? Yeah, he's a thief. But he doesn't work for me anymore. I caught him stealing. Threw him off the place more than a month ago. How come that he and two of his friends came over to try to get Jace Fredericks out of our bunkhouse? Jace? Oh, he's staying with you? Yes, yes. That loco nephew of mine. What did he tell you? That I don't treat him right? That I'm trying to steal this ranch from him? First thing he tells everybody. Did he mention that I took hold of this ranch when his paw was crippled? That I worked freeze and drought, flood and dust, and built it to where it is today? Yes, he said you ran it. Without his help. Oh, but he wouldn't mention that. That boy never did an honest lick of work from the day his pa was hurt. He run off every chance he got. And he's a thief, too. And I can prove it. Sheriff? Yes, sir. Why'd I ask you to ride over, Sheriff? Why, to, to investigate a robbery. What did you find? 
Oh, it's a pretty bald-faced fact. And Mr. Bingham's nephew, Jace Frederick, stole $500 out of the ranch strong box. Well, who told you it was Jace Frederick stole the money? Well, uh... Let me ask you a question. How much did Jace give you to buy that black? Five hundred dollars. There you are. I'm having that drink. Invitation still open. Mr. Bingham, how do you know it was Jace who gave Joe that five hundred dollars? <laughs> shooting rats around the barn. Now, as I was trying to explain... We can't let them leave this ranch. We? No, 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 here, j just a minute. I, I don't mind telling a lie or two, but killing that... Come on! I'll kill you. Oh. I sure understand you a whole lot better now, Bingham. 